The AutoCAD user exam consists of two types of items, multiple choice and simulation. Let's click start and have a look at a multiple choice question. In this example, I have to select areas in the user interface. But what if I forget the wording of the question? Move the cursor over that big yellow box and it displays the question. Move the cursor away and it hides the question again. I'm now clicking on an incorrect area. I'm doing that three times and I'm being told that I've used up my three attempts. To move on, I must click Next Question at the bottom of the screen. Now let's look at a different type of multiple choice question. In this case, I have four options. So I review the question and I'm going to select A. I could change it to B, C or D, but I must click Submit before I click Next Question. Now let's look at a simulation. Simulation is a simulated environment of AutoCAD. It looks exactly like AutoCAD except for that yellow question box. Now let's go to an actual AutoCAD session and look at some of the rules we have to follow. We're going to be using ribbon technology. For example, I'm clicking on the line command. I'm going to input 0, 0, to start the exercise. I have to create a sketch in this case. And I'm using direct distance. In this example, I have to input 5. Now I'm going to move vertically upwards. In this case, I'm putting in the value using direct distance. Again, just dragging the cursor. These are important rules to follow. But what if I have to put an angle line in? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is check if ortho is turned on or off. It's good. It's off in this case, but I can toggle it on and off when required. I'm going to start by keying the length of the line. I'm pressing the tab key. And now I'm putting the angle value. I'm pressing enter. Now I can continue on and I'm going to finish that sketch, but I notice that I need to put ortho on to do it correctly. So I'm going to come down, click on ortho, and now I'll be able to finish this sketch a little better. To finish the sketch, I'm going to right click and select enter. Now throughout a design session, you may want to access drafting settings. I'm going to do that by right clicking down in the application status bar and selecting settings. That gives me snap grid, polar tracking, and object snap if I need to change those. And we'll just get out of that dialog box. So in conclusion, you want to use the ribbon tools when you're working on the exam, or the right-click context menus. You have been given lots of time to answer the questions, so take your time with your selections, and keep in mind the things that I've shown in this demonstration.